highest color and today I'm going to focus on redstone inventions and some tutorials this I thought you might want to see hey look it's a staircase there's a chest up here and now there's no staircase but there's a staircase again okay. Nice glow sound path. Ooh, a left. Oh my gosh. Secret room. Oh. What? Two? I thought this was supposed to be three. Gosh. Give me one second while I fix these annoying technical difficulties. Whatever. Um, I'm not in the mood to fix this. This is getting very annoying. Anyway. Oh my gosh, we come into this room over here. I hope I got this right. Nope. Incorrect. I just broke it, like I always do. Redstone. See, so that's why I have glowstone here. Glowstone goes on the sides, stone goes there. There we are. Dark, and then you see. You pull the switch. It's completely dark. That's daylight. That's glowstone. Oh, look at that. Now it works. Now that works. Huh. Ooh. That's super cool. So this is a little room I built. Or this is a little building. I pieced together multiple concepts. Piston staircase, piston doors, piston lighting. A lot of piston stuff. This is a closer. Now if you want to make this, four redstone torches. One there, one there, one there, one there. Redstone and whatever you want there. I know, I have a lot of wolves. This is my mob trap, which I believe I showed in the last video, but I'm not sure. You got a bunch of mobs in there and it drowns them. Mm, old clock. Oh, remember this block pusher? Well, I have a way better version as well as a bunch more of a uh, bunch more of inventions that I worked on. Oops. Look at this. Look at this block pleasure. If 
pushing the blocks, and it's also a clock. Then we have this block pusher. It kind of lags out a bit. Oh, ooh. What? What? world goodness that wasn't supposed to oh yes look this is a very cool magic trick there's the green block green blocks over there right watch us it's hidden oh something went wrong What went wrong? I wonder if you figured out the trick. That's a sticky piston. Why is that extended right now? Oh, sticky piston. If you knew that it was a sticky piston, just put in the comments and it was a sticky piston. And you know what your prize will be? Um, just knowing that it was a... But look. Abracadabra. I can make that a bit better by adding a bit more time and then... You see, if you had a bit more time. Um. Well, anyway, I'm going to start running a server soon and having a server let's play. If you'd like to join me on my world, just leave it in the comments, send me a private message, whatever. Leave a like. There we are. Now that works. Oh, this was another one that failed. Um, we're gonna make a big clock. Anyway, here I have a tutorial set up. Where did my tutorial go? Gosh, okay, here it is. So this is an introduction to redstone. You have your redstone torch, which acts like a high voltage output. Your button, momentary. I believe it's equivalent to a second of power. Switch either stays on or off. Water and pressure play. This could be activated by activated by players, mobs, and items. Stone pressure play can be activated only by players and mobs. And if anyone says that it can be activated by anything, that's a lie. So here we have a whole bunch of stuff. This is called an ore gate. Now, this is how you make it. You have a block of your choice here. Oh, well, you have basically this is the important part. You have uh, two blocks, redstone torch, redstone wire, and then this. And then all you do is you have two inputs coming in here and an output coming from there and what this is is if either or if one or the other is on it will activate the output this is nope where did that go uh, nope no. Oh, here it is. A NOR gate. This will not provide power if one of them is on. You see? So it's the opposite of a nor an OR gate. Because you see any, um, any electronics, there's a principle. If something's the opposite, 
you put an N in front of it. For example, here you have an AND gate. You only will get an output if both of these are off. Look, so I turn that one off, nothing. I turn that one off, though, something. But then this is a NAND gate. And this will... Oh yeah. This will only work if both the inputs are on, compared to the AND gate, which will only work if both inputs are off. Here we have a NOR gate I showed. Oh, this is cool. This is an exclusive OR gate. This will work if either OR is off. Uh, yes, which is cool. And an exclusive NOR gate. What in the world? Apparently, an exclusive NOR gate always stays on no matter what you do. Hmm, that's broken. Here we have an inverter, one of the most commonly used pieces of electronics, our redstone and Minecraft. Put a current in, you got an inverted output. For example, I put no current in, I get current. I put current in, I get no current. Very simple. And I will show how to make all these. This is a latch. Basically, it saves its state. Well, so, that one's on, that one's off. But when I come over here and use the reset switch, that one's on, that one's off. It just uh, flip-flops. But it's different from a flip-flop gate, like a T-flip-flop. Oh, this is just a different... Oh, that's a more compact latch. This is a bigger line. So here, um, this is, I'm gonna fly over them. This is the exclusive OR gate. Pause the video here, whatever you need. This is the NOR gate, I believe. Yep, NOR gate, right here. You could pause the video or whatever. I can't spend five seconds. I mean, uh, five minutes, rather. This is the NAND gate. This is the AND gate. This is the OR gate. This is... an exclusive OR gate. Exclusive NOR gate. An inverter, a latch, keep in mind there's a button there, and a button there, smaller compact latch, which I recommend, button there, button there, here we go, and then usually you have an output, is one of them there, so it would look more like that, buttons, now, what, what in the, Look how far away he is from his village. Hey there, what are you? What are you doing out so far from your village? Hey, hey. No, I'm not trying to hurt you. Stop. Stop walking aimlessly. Stop. Gosh. See ya. Um, he was irritating. Okay, so that's this. Now this is, look at this. We have a long distance and the redstone runs out. Now this is the old way. You would use, dun 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 dun, an inverter. That turns it off because there's redstone current. But then you do this. Now this is a diode basically in building electronics this is a diode and this takes up five blocks compared to the repeater
Right to the repeater. So there you have it, our two repeaters. Okay, now this is the most efficient way to run current upwards, and I'll show you why. Moment. You see. But anyway, so here I have on both pistons. Now this should be the same height, but worked out weird. Um, so both pistons are closed. Now well, this is very space consuming. It's two by two. And it extends a piston with no delay. This has a tiny delay, but it's one by one. It takes up no space, it takes up one block. Oh, and then this is just an AND gate. Nice tone. This is an OR gate. With just one input, whatever. This is a block pusher. Ooh, maybe that's what's causing lag. Hmm. Then I have. Oh, yes. This is a little gadget I made. creates a rapid pulse and I'll show you what's different about this one compared to most other ones. Uh, let's see, note block, note block, there we are. Here, so look at that. You have a bunch of torches there. But you see the great thing is as soon as one burns out, it goes right to another. And there's an override switch. So you don't lag out your world. Over here you have one without an emergency override. Oh, and it ever, if it ever stops for some reason, you just uh, push a button. Override, though. That needs an override switch. Do I have any of these chests? Just no block. Oh, every color. Wool. Alright, that was for my wool when I had to check different colors for wiring. I Now I remember. Oh. This is a practical-ish use for running it up, let's say, you have to run current up and then down instead of going like a staircase and this doesn't have to go to the ground but I just chose to um, there's a bit of delay just because each of these switching is a tick but watch I showed you that, I showed you that. If you want a tutorial on this, leave some likes. I mean, likes, comments, favorites, private messages, whatever. As long as I know that you want to see any of this stuff, just tell me what you want to see. And just, you know what? Tell me what you like, what you don't like. This is something that's quite cool. It's not, there's delay, it shouldn't be delayed, but when I place that there at ended up being some delays but what it's supposed to do is keep a current going in a very long relay it's extraordinarily long oh this is a very cool gadget too this is like a clock except it's kind of like a timed clock a clock will eventually stop you see it uses a little thing I've discovered uh, you could call it a duplicator, whatever you want to call it. Because what happens is the way that this works is when it comes through here, you could split the current and send it out. 
So we'll each be going in a different direction. And this will eventually come to a stop. it will come to the point where all the current is duplicated and takes up all the space and that time is now when this happens you break that and let the current drain and that's it. oops This is something similar, but I'm trying to, oh, something similar to that one, except I'm trying to save space. Let's see, that's in this row. There we are. And that's like this, and it has a nice little tree shape to it, sort of, or the Empire State Building shape. Um, this is very similar to that, just in straight lines, and it will do the same thing. This, on the other hand, is something really cool that I discovered accidentally. Oops. Look at that. It will, you could tap into either one or two. It's there, what else do I have? Oh yes, this was a proximity detector. You shoot an arrow here, have it connected to a clock, and when a player is near, the arrow will come over here. For some reason, it needs particles, apparently. So I lit that. Oh, this is something cool. So this is a trap. Now, this would not be over here like that. Um, but let's. what you do is... You have a chest here. And that chest has diamonds, but what they, and they want, now of course this would not be facing here, but what happens is you can't open a chest when there's a lock on top of it, won't open, so they do that. They do that, and what they don't realize is that it will unlock an end gate, and then it will start shooting arrows, and this will be on the inside, so they will not be able to reset it. And of course that would not be facing randomly in the opposite direction. It would be facing towards them and you would have a door that would not would only open from the outside unless you and it would slowly um, lower their health if you would. And that's about oh, this was supposed to be a lava moat. Didn't really work out too well. This was supposed to be a pseudo latch, I believe it's called. Also, it didn't work. Here you have a mono stable circuit. Here you have a bunch of other stuff. It drives you crazy. You have all these 16 bit. It was painful. Uh, and that's the, really the end of this episode. So, hope you enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe private message, whatever you want, favorite, just as long as I can know that you're interested in this and why is there a pig in the middle of my inventions. Leave, 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 leave. Hey, hey, I said leave. Okay, well, color out.